Hello, I am Bobby the Arrow. I shoot the arrows and I kill the things. I think an ad is supposed to load in this big blank box. Um, at least I'm hoping that that's where an ad is supposed to be and it's not part of my recording software being creepy and crazy. This is Bobby the Arrow by Al Rio on Dojo. Well, actually on Newgrounds, but by Dojo. Click. Dojo. Uh-oh. Somebody's throwing ninja stars at that dude. Yes, 2014. Flash, Chaz, Bono, and Bitnest Software. Danish goal. I love Danishes. Bobby to Arrow! See, I wasn't just making fun of it. That's what it sounds like. This is... Uh, credits. Graphics by Flash Chaz, Bitnest is the programmer, and voice acting by Shock Dingo, H your baby. Awards, these are little achievements you can get. Let's go to play. I played a couple of them, and the first couple that I played, this was yesterday, um, I didn't really pay attention, so I'm very happy that I managed to get most of them with three stars without trying. So, what is this? Oh, I guess that's the story. I will not be able to voice act the story because the game voice acts for you. So here we go. The kingdom of Alrio all seemed peaceful and well. Until one day, one of King Asriel's scribes delivered startling news of a goblin invasion. The goblin hordes spread all over the land, terrorizing villagers and attacking the king's army. We need our best man, cried the king. And that best man was the most famed archer in all of the land. Bobby the Arrow! Yeah, I probably could have talked over that a little bit. Why is the scribe delivering the news? Scribes scribe things. They write stuff. Someone has to deliver the news to the scribe. Why didn't that person just immediately deliver the news to the king? And the scribe writes stuff down, so why was he delivering it to the scribe to be written down without the king already telling him? Doesn't make any sense. Also, Bobby the Arrow! I hate <laughs> the way they say we that. Had an invasion for a while, Bobby. So let's have a quick refresher. We have Aim a... by moving the mouse and click the left mouse button to fire. That's not remember, how bows work. You have a limited number of arrows, so make them count. Rid the land of these goblins and make us proud. Why are you so cheap, King, that you're giving me a limited number of arrows? I should have all of the arrows available in the kingdom at my disposal. Boink. So the thing about this game is, you can see the timer at the top. They don't explain this to you in the first level. They just kind of let you figure it out on your own. After you start the round by clicking for the first time, the timer will then go automatically. And every time it goes all the way around, all of the enemies move forward in some way or do something. Continue. I think he's going to talk through the first couple levels. Oh no, this one he leaves me alone. Bonk, 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 bonk. And I'll let this guy jump up top. Because I don't think there's a time limit so much. I've never let the guy go all the way to kill me. One of these times i got to try that. Did you know Bobby once won an award for best sharpshooter in El Rio after shooting the wings off a fly from one mile away? I did not know this. Thank you for telling me, though. That's interesting These trivia. These archer goblins can shoot from range. Take them out first. King, I'm Bobby De Arrow, not Bobby De Stupid. I figured that the goblins with bows can probably shoot arrows much as I myself shoot arrows. I also, there's a power gauge that kind of gives you about where this goes. I kind of like that they show you the path of the arrow. I mean, it's a little bit cheating, but... I wish that if you went full power into this guy versus going lower power into him, that it would deal more damage, but I don't think that's true. And he shoots me. I wonder if that's one of the requirements for getting three stars. Nope. Bobby is prone to sporadic hallucinations about pork. No one knows why. What could lead to sporadic hallucinations about pork? Click, click. I don't think I can click my mouse fast enough. Like, it doesn't reload my bow fast enough for me to... kill the archer, you know, before the first timer comes around. Bobby can turn his eyeballs 180 degrees and watch his brain. He enjoys this so much, it makes him foam at the mouth. 
I don't know what kind of show his brain's putting on, but I'd love tickets. Look out for switches in the environment. They do all sorts of things, like open doors and move platforms. Well, that's interesting. Who's going around putting these switches onto the... Oh, well, who cares? Let's kill this guy and that guy. And you know what? Let's just stand here and wait for a moment and then kill that guy with a box. Did you know Bobby used to have a pet pig, but one day it sprouted wings and flew off over a rainbow? Maybe that's why he hallucinates about pork. Maybe that was a very traumatizing experience for him, losing his beloved pet pig. Bobby, the goblins have caged our people like animals. Slaughter them. them before you take out all the goblins. The goblins, I mean. Slaughter the goblins. All right, so we can shoot this, freeze the dude. <laughs> Hit the slime in air. Hit these guys. Oh, I'm going to miss. Am I going to get less than three stars? Nope. I still got three. Bobby's Wee Wee is multicolored. There was a series of books by Piers Anthony. They were very much the rage when I was in school. They are called the Xanth books. X-A-N-T-H Xanth. Xanth is a magical land where everyone, uh, particularly in the early books that I had read, Everyone has a magical talent. They're all completely different. They're all unique to a person, although I think some talents kind of run in families. Um, but everybody has their own magical talent. And part of becoming uh, a grown-up, an adult, part of growing up is you have to go in front of the entire town and demonstrate your magical talent. And there was... Uh, I remember one of the books. I can't remember exactly which one it was. It might have been a spell for Chameleon. Had... Uh, it mentioned one of the few exceptions to this, and this was a person, I don't remember uh, if they gave the person's name, but their magical power was they could change the color of their urine. And so, for obvious reasons, they didn't have to stand in front of the town and pee a multicolored stream onto the ground. Uh, just the one guy who was in charge. Um, I honestly can't remember his name. I know he's a little old fellow. And uh, he summons demons. That's his magical power. He he took the guy aside, basically, for a private uh, evaluation so that he demonstrated his magic power rather than having to do it in front of the entire town. There we go. That's the story for the day. Bobby the Arrow! Start he battle. Make a move. Okay, so let's kill this guy. Oh, you jumped right over my arrow, you jerk. All right, we'll hit this stone, knock it onto the switch, which will open up the door. Boink, kill these guys. Oh, I gotta free the guy before. All right, let's, I know that you might have wanted to read that, but I'm pretty sure it'll be exactly the same at the end. Gotcha, that time, you jerk face. All right, you guys jump. Kill you guys. Wait to kill you so I can free this person. I don't know what story-wise, why now, if I kill those guys, um, why can't I just walk over and free the person? Why do I have to take them out of the cage before I slaughter everyone? Doesn't that expose them to more danger? I mean, now they're running around on a battlefield where there's goblins and slimes jumping all about and arrows flying through the air. I would think that they would be probably safest if they stayed in their cage, and then I can make sure to aim my shots so that they're not in the crossfire, or the line of fire, as it were, you know. I shoot at a goblin, the goblin jumps out of the way, and the arrow continues on into the cage. No, I'm going to make sure that I'm aiming away from the cage, because I know that the person is in there. But no, I have to free them and let them run around the battlefield. Bobby has a bath ritual, which means he will not get out until he has whistled through the entirety of Beethoven's Ninth. Beethoven's Ninth what? Flaming arrows! You can click on the HUD to change your arrow, or use the 1, 2, and 3 keys. The 1, 2, and 3 keys. I don't know what the point of the flaming arrow is, but let's go ahead and start by getting rid of these guys. Interesting. I'm going to count that as a win. I mean, I totally didn't mean to do that, but that was pretty awesome, you got to admit. Banking the arrow off the crates and then having it exactly hit the uh, target. Oh no, I am out of arrows. I will switch to flame arrows. Jump up. I want to hit you again. Jump up again. Jump up again. Boom! Only two stars. 
I don't know exactly what constitutes stars. I wish it would tell you before that there's a certain arrow par that you have to reach, or... You know, um, in one of the other levels, the one where you hit the switch for the first time and it drops the box on the goblin, that's the only level I went back in because I noticed by that time, I didn't really notice that they were giving you stars because I always got three. And on that level, I got two. And that's when I found out that if you just kill the guy, you get in trouble. But if you drop the box on him, you win. So I'm guessing there's a par score for arrows. Did you know Bobby doesn't vote because Bobby wants a revolution of love? Okay. Goblin mages! <gasps> I've heard about these guys. They can shoot from range and teleport when they're in danger. Well, they sound Think like total wisely, jerks. Take them out. I'm gonna hit one with a flaming arrow right in the face. How do you like that, wizard? I think he'll die now. Yeah, he burns to death. There you go. Three stars. Yeah, so the burning arrows, I don't know what the full utility of them is, but you can use one arrow, it'll hit an enemy, and then they will burn to death. Um, at least the enemies we've encountered so far. Uh, it does the same amount of damage as the normal arrow, which seems to be half of the health, and then it continues to burn. Bobby, Bobby, how does your garden grow? Something, something, I've forgotten the words. Oh my gosh. It's a children's nursery rhyme, my friend. Well, not the Bobby version. Okay, what do we got here? Filthy goblins. Oh, they're just archers? I can... I'm gonna hit the archers with flaming arrows. Oh, I missed one. Alright, go back to normal. Oh, I gotta free the guy. Bobby would like to write a haiku, but he doesn't know what they are. I would like to write you write you a love song. One of my favorite songs by uh, Nuclear Bubble Rap. Where is my health? Oh, I do have a health. I do have a health. Shoot these explosive crates to take out goblins en masse. En masse. En masse. En masse. Do I have to hit it with a flaming arrow? Let's find out. One. Three. Three. Oh, I wanted to use a flaming arrow on that guy, but I guess... I guess it weren't meant to be. Oh, I can't hit him! No! 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 There we go. One star. Bobby invented ducks. Man, that's kind of cool that they can make a staircase leading up to you and it just... you. I could have shot him if I did it differently. Um, if you aim up, you can let the arrow go up and then fall down and hit the guy. I guess I'll, sh I'll just show that briefly. Alright, so using my flaming arrows, there's one. There's two. That guy will now die because he'll burn to death. And now this guy that I couldn't normally hit... Oh! Way to dodge. There you go. Earn 30 stars in game. I'm a rising star. All right. So, what do we got? Five regular arrows, two unregular arrows. I can see pretty much that this is going to happen. So, let's do that. And do... Oh, I missed him. Bonk. Bonk. I was really hoping to hit the archer with that flaming arrow, because then it would be two quick kills. Did you know Bobby was born without a face? But after asking the god of faces for a face, he got a face. From the god of faces. I like that all the facts are different. And I, I kind of like the fact that they're not randomized. Because that means you definitely get to see them all. And, uh... Oh, hey, okay, let's retry this level. Alright, ready, steady, go! And he missed, because he's terrible. Oh, that only... I needed to wait one more turn. Alright, come on, we're gonna do this right. We are going to do this right. Alright, let's just hit you with a flame arrow. Ha ha ha! I love the way the arrows skip. It just... It don't make no sense. You'll never beat us. Nope. Okay. I totally screwed that up. I wasn't paying attention to where the guys were jumping. 
Alright, step one, flaming arrow into that guy. Ugh. Step two, bank the arrow like a boss. Wonk. And there it is. Worth three stars. Bobby wants a defense. Bobby then no longer had a place to sell his stolen goods. It's a joke because fence can mean more than one thing. <laughs> this is so stupid. Howard is hiding behind bales of hay. Try burning them down with your fire enemy. Bales of hay? But those are almost impenetrable. Alright, how do I want to do this? Do I want to just flaming hit that guy? Flaming hit that guy. Shoot that guy. You die. Uh, flaming hit this. And just shoot your arrow right over his head. You don't actually have to hit the guy. Bobby does not have nipples. I don't know how Bobby feels about that. I don't know if that upsets Bobby, if Bobby feels like he should have nipples. Alright, arrow of time, unlock all arrow types. Touch of glass, drop a chandelier onto a goblin. Bobby to savior, take out every single goblin. Married goblins may live. Civilized, rescue every single civilian. Married civilians may die. And shooting star, earn all 90 stars in game. If you earn the stars out of game, it doesn't count. <gasps> New arrow! Poison. Does two things of damage. I don't remember this popping up when I did when I got the fire arrow. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Poisoning your enemies prevents them from taking their turn. So it's like a fire arrow in that it might kill them? Does it only prevent one turn or is it constant? We're in the mountains now, so things will get trickier. But stay resilient. Stay resilient. Okay, so, step one, let's poison this guy. Let's flaming arrow that guy. And let's try very carefully to... There we go. You're dead. Wait, how did that not hit you? You're dead. You're dead. Come on, hop on up. You're dead. Don't cry for Bobby, Argentina. The truth is, he never left you. Even though he's in Al Rio right now. Maybe it's not Al Rio. Maybe it's El Rio, and he's in Brazil. Alright, we're this is level 16. We're going to stop here, and we will complete these levels tomorrow, which is my birthday. Until then, bye-bye from Bobby to Arrow!